They go 7-0-1 in the WAC this year, and for the first time in program history in conference play, the Scarlet and Black second best to no one. San Diego State is the 2024 WAC regular season champion. Like, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to forget this day. Um, it's just, I don't even, I'm lost for words. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Um, you know, we had bigger, bigger aspirations for uh, in Phoenix next week. You know, we had, we got to win that to hopefully get to the NCAA tournament. But I couldn't be prouder of the guys, and I'm just, I'm, I'm so happy for everyone. It was crazy. Like the work we did in the spring, last spring, to now, um, it just paid off, and it shows. The results show. It's really special to me because we have a lot of guys that have been here for a while. We have a few new guys, and we welcome them in, them in really quickly. But I think, you know, growing through all of these past three years, these ups and these downs with these boys, to be able to finally win a championship together, I think is the most special thing. Uh, phenomenal. Yeah, it's been a long uh, five-year journey uh, to get to this point and, and become champions. You know, all the, all the work that, you know, guys here, guys before, um, put in assistant coaches, staff, um, everybody that's a part of it, uh, you know, has a piece of it. Um, so just so proud of the program, so proud of the boys, um, you know, what we've accomplished this season and um, excited to get our first, uh, the first conference championship in school history. This whole, this whole year has been like a, a culture, like, like rebuild kind of. Um, we've been working on culture since day one. It's, we've, we've had co uh, constant meetings about it just as a team and it just feels like a brotherhood. Everyone's together, and yeah, I just, I just love everyone. It shows the togetherness of our team. I think you look at the front guys, me, uh, Rami, Robbie, Terrence, Jules, Josh, anyone who comes up there, we defend just as hard as it, if not harder than the back guys, to be honest. And they, they appreciate all the work that we do. But, you know, we have 11 defenders out on the field when we don't have the ball. And I think a lot of the other teams are starting to realize it's really tough to score on us. So if we can get one or two goals, we're confident that we can get the clean sheet. It's really hard to lose games if, if you don't concede goals. And I think the guys, again, have really bought into that, and especially when you get into this time of year when games are tight. Um, and, and I also have to give the guys credit. I think we're finding a lot of different ways to score goals now, too, um, whether it's set pieces and the run of play, build up, you know, all these different things. Um, the guys are really finding ways to manufacture goals as it gets tighter and tighter, and that bodes well now when you're knockout football. Um, you have to get clean sheets. Uh, you have to find ways to score goals. Um, sometimes the weather conditions aren't great, the field's not great, uh, but you got to figure out a way to grind games, and I think we're, we're battle-tested, I think prepared for tournament play. Our season's not over yet, we still got the conference tournament, so we can celebrate this for now, but I'm focused on the conference tournament already and getting ready for that. Yeah, we just got to focus towards the, uh, the, the conference tournament next week and make a run and then win that, but it's been unbelievable from the guys, the work ethic we've put, we put in to win all these games, it's, it's been amazing. The key, I think, just keep being gritty and, and staying together. I think exactly continue to what we do and raise the continue to raise the levels. Now it's um, you know everyone's playing for for their lives um, and you're 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 playing to keep your team together. I think that's the biggest you know big, biggest message to our group. We have such a tight group and I think they want to continue to play together and um, we just want to you know keep this group long, going as long as we possibly can.